Great news everyone, the Valve Index has sold out in some regions and that's amazing, that's just crazy, I know. And these are pretty much the first glimpses, the first signs of a big, big IP having an impact on VR, on the market. And we are now seeing people taking the leap, taking the jump to experience what we call the future of gaming and uh, yes I'm just here to to share this happy news with you I'm going to give you some info on what has been going on since the launch of the trailer of Half-Life Alex. so yes let's uh, let's dive in shall we so yeah as I said this means that a lot of people are going to uh, join the VR revolution they will be a part of the rebellion and according to Road to VR most packages of Valve's high-end VR headset that released earlier this year are now sold out after the announcement of Half-Life Alex. What a surprise. Last week the internet completely exploded after Valve dropped a bomb on their flagship uh, VR game, including me by the way. We just watched freaking Half-Life in, that's right, VR. Oh my god. This was very cool. Yes, racking up more than uh, 10 million views across YouTube and uh, Twitter in the first uh, 24 hours, the Half-Life Alex trailer was likely the single fastest spreading exposure to VR of its kind. And that's mind-blowing. The Half-Life announcement also saw extensive press coverage from many mainstream websites. And this is usually not the case with other VR titles. I gotta say, it was very interesting, strange and epic to witness all of this going down because Usually when there's a new VR title coming out, it's us in the VR bubble that are talking about it and no one else. But in this case, it felt like the entire world suddenly cared about a VR game. If Valve has been counting on Half-Life Alex being the killer app for VR, then the early signs suggest they may just get their wish. Well, the Valve Index was uh, quickly back-ordered at launch, a few months later it became available for immediate shipping and the stock that Valve had ever since has been pretty steady. Until, you guessed it, now. Because if we look at the Steam store, we can see that almost all of the Index packages are out of stock, including the headset, the controllers and the bundle of the headset and the controllers together. They are currently listed in the United States and the Canadian stores as sold out with a back in stock soon message in place. Also, it's probably good to mention that with every purchase you get Half-Life Alex for free, including the folks who already own the hardware. Funny enough, the base stations and the full kit are still available in the US, but that's mainly because first of all the full kit is crazy expensive and with two base stations you're simply not going to play a VR game. The Valve Index is for sale in more than 31 countries and is only sold out in the US and Canada right now. Although it is good to know that uh, the Valve Index just became available in Canada. So it's not just Half-Life that is impacting the sales there, but also the fact that you can finally buy one. Of course, we have no information whatsoever on how much uh, Valve has sold so far and how big their stock is. So this, this hype could be built on nothing. But what we do have is data. Valve has been quite public about sharing what headsets are getting used on their platform. Every month we get a nice overview of what that looks like. And if we, let's say, see an increase of Valve Index HMDs, then that does mean something. So while Valve has confirmed that Half-Life Alex will be compatible with all PC VR headsets through Steam, the game is expected to play best on Index, thanks to the advanced uh, finger tracking capabilities of its controllers. So yes, that's the exciting news that I just had to share with you in this video. And to make it even more exciting, it's not just the Valve Index that is becoming more and more popular. Also, Windows Mixed Reality headsets seem to be running out of stock at the moment. Gamers are hunting down all of these HMDs because they just want to play Half-Life Alex. And if they have to spend a lot of money or they have to spend a little bit, they don't care, they just want to make sure they are ready for March 2020. And that's, that's just so cool to see. The impact is 
ginormous and we are going to see so many people step into VR and discover how awesome it is. I do think that Half-Life Alex will set a new standard for gaming. When people try that, they want more of it and that means that developers need to step up their game. We'll see, time will tell and um, yeah, if you, uh, if you want to know more about Half-Life Alex, I made a video about everything you should know. There will be a link in the description below and it will also pop up above me. So enjoy, leave a like on this video if you are also excited for VR going mainstream. And uh, now it's time for me to uh, sign off. And as I always say, and I see you all next time. See you in the metaverse, bye bye, see ya. Uh, later. Yes, I was your anchor man for today. This was just news I had to share. That looked like a proper, proper VR title to me.